Hey guys, Andre Dyson back here again with Studio 270 Digital Media Lab. And right now we're going to get into album art cover design. And I'm gonna today I'm gonna use Canva.com, which is a free website, online designing website. Um, you can purchase a membership that unlock, unlocks pretty much all of the fonts and all of the photos and designs that Canva has to offer. But for today, we're just going to stick with the free version that anyone can do at home. And uh, they have so many templates, so many templates you can utilize. It's graphic design made easy. So if you guys are artists out there looking for a logo, if you're looking to create better Instagram posts with a template, posters, presentations, business cards, resumes, Instagram stories, videos, desktop wallpapers for your computer, animated social media posts, all of these types of things, t-shirt designs. This is like one-stop shop for introducing you to the concepts of graphic design and making a product that is uh, very palatable and it looks professional and you can work within some guidelines and also to curb the guidelines of graphic design if you don't know anything about graphic design i have up here uh the ultra graphics mt.com which is 10 basic concepts to improve your graphic design and basically uh they give you the top 10 basic concepts as it says this is from 2018 so it's not the most up to date but these concepts still reign true within the graphic design uh world right so what they go over is fonts and basically typefaces of what your words or how your lettering what it looks like uh contrast um add bold or italic fonts with your design mix large type with small type include dark color or dark background and you know that burst of color gives contrast to your design alignment uh, is important how everything aligns up within the the layout and it says most readers won't consciously notice that everything is lined up neatly however most viewers will notice when elements are out of alignment that's obviously what your mind sees and these are just some of the concepts that you kind of know but this is putting words to it um what's what we naturally like and what we don't like color is so important and it gives you a little uh, graph of what colors do and how when you, when you see a certain color what that color makes you think of and so it's important with your color choices uh, you're supposed to pay attention to your audience who is your audience how do you resonate with your audience as a customer or as uh, who you're trying to connect your art with so and when it comes to album uh, design audience is a major focus of who are you marketing your work to um, space, using space within the cover of the art is important. Uh, making sure things aren't too little or too too big, over overpowering, right? Uh, I guess a basic concept of space would be uh, it's like having a messy house. We can find things easier if our house is clean and organized. Same with the clean design. Our eyes focus more on the, t the text or elements we need to see. Negative space highlights the most important pieces of information and can help balance your design. That's a very important factor. Uh, consistency and repetition. Um, these two factors are especially important in branding. Having consistency and repetition in your branding is what makes your logo or marketing materials instantly recognizable. So that's very important. Uh, especially as a brand, as an artist. Simplicity, um, it's neat and simple. A simple design doesn't mean that it has to be boring, but by keeping simplicity in your design, your piece will have more impact because there will be less distractions. Hierarchy is uh, setting up good visual hierarchy in your designs, making it organized and easy for your viewers to find the more information they need. So using Hierarchy is in size, position, space, and color and contrast. So placement of primary text or graphics are more important elements toward the top. 
position. We naturally read things from top to bottom or left to right. Space. Graphic elements or text that have more white space around them are easily seen and become the focus. Color and contrast. Use color and contrast to emphasize important items or text. Think back and think black and white with a splash of color. And distortion. Logos, photos, or text that have been stretched to fit a space and end up distorted are a huge no-no. But not only does that make your design look amateurish, but it also is a good way to upset the logo designer or photographer. Distorting proportions of a logo is against every organization's brand standards. So those are some 10 basic uh, concepts, and we'll move forward with in Canva. So Canva, there's a lot to look at. There is a lot to process at first, but they have a search bar, and what we want to do is the album cover art. So we'll type that in in the search bar. So now they know exactly what we want. They have, you can go by categories, you know, uh, something for your, you can go by categories or by color, uh, but we're going to kind of just look through what type of styles that they have and what we want to replace because we're not going to use the same images and the same colors we just want to get an idea of an album art and what i i had an idea for an album art for a you know a lo-fi beat tape so lo-fi for those who don't know is kind of like uh an homage to uh, older old school hip-hop beats that are just playing and then they give you kind of like a, a mellow cool feel or uh i would say like a very um very emotional cool feeling and relaxed feeling so whatever design we're going to look for we're going to look for something very cool and very again using going back to our concepts we're going to use uh, contrast i like but the color would be cool tone. So anything blue, black, purple, in that respect, uh, we're going to keep it simple. And we're looking for, let's see, our audience will be the beat tape culture, right? So uh, we're going to see if we can find something kind of retro-y. And something simple. Not too, not too much for a beat tape cover. Keep it looking. I'm gonna look, look, look. Let's see. I feel like a good way to start. Again, we're keeping it simple. I like this. I like this because we're looking at some of these concepts, right? It ha definitely has contrast. You see the dark space around it and this rose is kind of it's very much contrasted with the white rose so i like that it's simple uh a beat tape doesn't have words so this if you, if you think about a beat tape in general it's very simple in the concept anyway so i want to keep things simple and we can add this design we can start with this design and so this is the template now on the left side you'll see more templates to go through you can upload images i have some images that i uploaded for previous uh, projects but they already have their photos so now there are free elements free photos free text but some of them aren't so the thing about canva is as you get a subscription or as you buy purchase the canva pro and i'm going to click on that really quick you know you can try it free for 30 days Let's see what the pricing is. It shows you the pricing. 120 yearly, monthly, $12.95. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get it for a month to buy it outright. I mean, you obviously would try it free. And then I would say get it for, you know, a month and possibly see what they have to offer because there are a lot of good designs that you just can't pull up for free. So if you're a serious artist that's going to be making visual graphics for your brand for your art for your for music this is something to definitely look into 
instead of outsourcing and having to pay somebody, keeping these concepts in mind, this is going to help you become more professional and keeping these concepts in mind. So we're going to see what images they have. I don't want to use this image per se, but we can see if they have other flower images. Let's start with that. Now, I guess it would be important to establish the name. So my my uh, name is Cool Kennedy, my beat, my producer name. And I haven't pretty, I haven't thought exactly of the exact name of the beat save. I think I'm gonna just give you something for right now. I think I'm gonna call it desires. So let's see. I'm gonna roll through it, and as I stop talking or get stuck on a design, I'm just gonna fast forward that part. But I'm just kinda gonna fall back and see what what I can come up with. And by the way, I will be playing the song from the beat tape as well. A few few beats from the from the the beat tape. So you're not just listening to dead sound. So I'm gonna go through transparency. You can play with transparency a lot. That's always an option. Actually, let me try that. Let me try that. Transparency, overlaying images. You see that it centers. Whatever you put in, you can center it, which is very helpful to make sure things are aligned properly. change the color of that circle if I change it to gray I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a black square because I don't want to copy their images. This image was just to give me an idea. So I'm going to superimpose it. So now we're starting with a black background. can position this to the back but I don't want to go all the way to the back let me go back one step command Z to go back a step position backward like that And the other concept about design would also be symbolism. So symbolism is important in many different expressions of art. And what does, is there a theme that your art is trying to convey? Is there an idea that you're trying to convey with that art? 
Is there a message? Is there a, an appreciation? Just a reflection of an idea. And I guess, the, you know, I'm looking at these flowers. I'm looking at the title of the beat tape and it's called Desires. So in what way are we drawing the concept of, of the word desires to this image of a flower? And almost like the circle is like this target, right? It looks like a target background. That so your a target is obviously you're aiming for the target. Let's see. And a flower is a very if you're getting symbolic, it's a very feminine uh a flower is a symbol for like reproduction, all that type of stuff. So like the desire of could be an innuendo for something else, right? Because it's about symbolism. So what are you really trying to convey? And I like this flower because it looks like hearts that are in the shape of a flower. And essentially, desire is from the heart. So I like where we're going already with the the symbolism of this beat tape. Now let's look at this color, how it should pop. I kind of like the blue. I like that blue and yellow contrast. Again, we're talking about contrasting colors. Let's see about what the color of this target. Do we do the red target? The red target, maybe not the bright red, but like kind of tone it down a little bit. When, it, when I go up into these hues, it reminds me very much of a 70s type of artwork. And what I'm doing is kind of backing up. I'm doing command plus or minus to zoom out because it, it helps almost to kind of back up from it a little bit to look at it from afar to see what kind of pull that it has. Like you saw this from far away, would it grab your attention? You know, that's important as well. Is it an attention grabber? Now I'm thinking, do I leave it? Now with this, the in general size of this, it looks like I could leave it to some degree. I made it a little bit smaller. Do I want that red hue? Do I want it to be flipped? So like, this is this is that color. This looks good too. With those colors inverted. So we have contrasting colors. It's simple. There is some symbolism with the flower shape of desire. And you know, it's whatever I, you'd want it to be, you know. We are limited in our choices again of what we want. I saw some other ones that I kind of like this, but it's we can't get it because it's not a free version. I like this version. And the thing about Canvas, you can also add a page. So like if I wanted to keep this, but I wanted to go with another example, I could do that. So like if I wanted to try a different version, so now now we we know closer what we want. We're gonna do a black square. We'll start out with that, right? And that might even be a thing where the black square doesn't take up the entire page, where it's a smaller thing and there's this this white border around it. That might look cool as well. So let's go back to uh, circle. And maybe we can create the background. We can create the target. 
so if I add another one flower again let's see copy yeah there we go and I kind of like that where the yellow is just the rim of that that's kind of cool too I think the I think the a lot the yellow it's cool that the yellow's popping a little bit like that. Let's try to enlarge that yellow a little bit. Yeah. And then let's see if we can get another yellow circle. title with my name now those are black and now with with the top you don't have the constrictions of that square but with this we will respect the boundary of that square so again the thing about alignment you don't you could put it off but it, it looks weird when it's like not lined up you know when they're just all over the place or you could put it somewhere like right on top of that square or like one below you could do that because it establishes the name and then you look down and it shows it reveals the title so these we have up top with all that open space and I like that the name artist name and the title of the album is below now we can go a step further you know black is the obvious ultimate contrast to white but we could add the color to the names or the titles. So like, that could be a thing. Now, if we zoom out again, what looks the most vivid, it looks like the one that looks the most vivid is this one definitely with that bright yellow target but again it's not quite the same on the bottom maybe if i were to add the same target circle because i didn't use that same one
it looks very eye catching. Oh, that looks eye catching. Where it kind of pops off the page a little bit. I, I like that. That adds an extra. That definitely adds more complexity to the design, but it also adds movement. It, it almost adds like a radiation, like the, the symbol is radiating. That's cool. So now, what I wanna do is kinda mess with some of these colors. So I'm gonna set this to the side a little bit. I'm gonna probably invert these colors for one thing. Let's see, let's go with, let's go with the white. What if there is no yellow until you get to that rim? Cause there's a lot of white on the background. What if it, what if the flower is yellow? What if this circle is blue? Maybe that rim. This one is the red. Yeah, maybe maybe the colors are a little bit more balanced at that point. And I'm oh, sorry, sorry, I hit the mic. Maybe they're more balanced this way, and as well. bit smaller with the flower in the center a little bit larger taking up more of the space I like that But then again, should we keep the hearts red? So we understand or accentuate the fact that they could be hearts as well as a flower. I think I'm going to keep those two. If you can, please let me know which one you like better. This is, again, this is a B-tape cover. But very simple, very, uh, it's original. Again, we went with the real, we, we started off looking at a real flower in the center with the contrast. And we ended up taking shapes and pre-designed uh, symbols and making it something. So... Again, my name is Andre Dyson of Studio 270 Digital Media Lab. Uh, this is a possibility for you guys to make album, album art through Canva. Uh, say if we were to go back, it's saved as this other one, but when I load it up, this is what we have. It's saved already. So you can go to File, Save It to Title It, File, Save to Folder, and Create a New Folder, Album, Art designs let's do that so now when we go home let's rename it so here we have the desires beat tape cover very very simple let me know which one you guys like uh, beat tape cover 
you like beat tape cover one, put a like symbol. If you like beat tape cover two, put a love symbol. But uh, and also send me links if you guys end up making them. Send me links to what you've done, and you can download your images. I think you have a, a few free downloads if you ha have the free version. But after a while, you start having you start having to pay in order to download it. But my suggestion, in order to keep the background empty, I would always download it as a PNG and then convert it to a JPEG later because that keeps it uh, a higher resolution and uh, it keeps the background transparent if they're, if you're like doing a logo or something where you could put it on any other design and blow it up to any size and not lose the integrity of the design. So I would save them as PNGs until you can like purchase it if you ran out of downloads but you would download it png style and download and we'll go to your downloads but that's all for today uh if you have any questions about album art cover design again i would uh go back to this website ultra graphics mt.com and it shows you the 10 basic concepts to improve your graphic design and I guess we kind of didn't go into the font as much with this one, but we could do that. I guess we can, really quick, we'll just change the font for the first one. I'll keep the font for the second one very simple, what it was, which it was Helvetic-ish. But for this top one, I'll change the font. I like that, that Bebes Nueve. Bebes Nueve, that's what it's called. But I'll make it a little bit larger. I'll go to 50. Yeah, let's do 50. And that way, it really makes it pop and it takes up that space. Bebe Snowebe for this one. Yeah, there you go. I like it. Just real simple. All right, guys, take care. If you have any questions, please email me at adyson at galeboarding.info, and have a good day. Thanks.